So my role is I'm the Vice President of the European Students Union. Um, my remit specifically is student voice in general, but my particular remit is internationalisation and mobility and public responsibility. So that can range anything from um, student mobility, Erasmus, all the way to academic integrity. Um, so it's a very wide, wide, wide spectrum, but um, all in all, I do a lot of work around raising the voice of students who, are, who I represent and I'm elected. So I was elected by our members, so we have um, board meetings where all our members across um, over 40 countries come together and they elect their next leadership and I was fortunate enough to be elected as the Vice President of the European Students Union. Uh, for me, um, what got me involved in the beginning was some of the issues that existed on my course um, that a lot of my course mates had um, and to me it was really evident that like if we as participants of our education system like don't call out some of the problems that exist, then we're just going to have a really terrible education system. Um, and so that's, that's what started for me. And actually it was involved, it was like specifically um, room bookings. It was the biggest problem that we had at university. And I know a lot of students probably have the same issues. And it was changing that and then seeing like how you can be a vehicle for change on little things that got me started. Um, I think student participation overall is incredibly important. Um, and there are different like, medal, like models that exist and, and then different forms of, uh, of participation. But I think for me the most important part of it is, is the governance structures, ensuring like, that there are clear governance models that include student participation and doesn't tokenize student voices. Yes. So I think there's a lot to gain from student participation, specifically because students are the people who are receiving the education, right? And therefore they know best the issues and, 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 and the concerns that, that the course has, that, that, that um, is required to make the, the, course, the course better. So I think if you're not involving the people that are involved in that system, then you're actually building a non involved system in many ways. Um, so I think there's a lot to gain from, not just for students, but for academics and universities to involve students very early on um, in, 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 in their decision-making processes. Um, I mean, I think there's a, a really important dynamic in, in the concept of like, uh, like education as a whole, right? Like, um, there's there's often a binary created between like how we see education spaces and and, um, and like the different like it's kind of like a you learn and then you leave um, rather than like a back and forth actually learning from each other and a peer to peer to peer learning spaces. I think one of the exciting things that's come out of this project is seeing different models that exist in different universities and different countries that could be easily applied across campuses. Um, and I think that's a really exciting part of it and, and, and one of the things you can get. I mean, I think the standard challenges that many of us face is often like tokenization um, in those spaces, being invited to uh, participate in um, reviewing systems and processes, but actually where there isn't really meaningful engagement, it's more of a tick box exercise that a lot of, um, I know student activists could probably agree with and, and, and echo. Um, and I think that's like when we build governance structures, making sure that like the decision processes are actually like, we're, we're a part of those decision making rooms rather than like invited to a, a, a committee meeting that reports to a committee meeting that reports to a committee meeting to another committee meeting. Because um, at the end of the day, like there is no student voice in that space, it's just a tick mark exercise. Um, yes and no. I think for me, I'm fortunate enough to do this as a job um, and uh, spend, I've spent the last couple of years in elected roles representing students. Um, but the reality is actually like often there is, it's really hard to participate when you're doing your studies, when you're working part time, um, and um, often always, like I think they should need to be like, either incentivized or support offered for, your, for students that um, are a part of structures or a part of actually like giving back knowledge because their time and their energy should be valued and is incredibly important. And often students are the most marginalized because they're, and they're often forgotten in, in the sense that like they're, they're literally just trying to get by life um, and pay their bills also. Um, and I think that's something that like institutions forget and organisations forget and don't value enough. So when they invite them to join committee meetings, when they invite them to co consult on, 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 on big projects, they don't recognise that like they should recognise the time, the effort, the work in the same way they would when they bring in a consultant, when they bring in external bodies. Absolutely, 100%. I think um, you develop, first of all, um, the ability to critically think and analyse um, different perspectives of different issues, the different lenses. Um, you have the ability to really think 
outside the box um, and learn from your peers. I think one of the most valuable things about partic like some participation in, in these spaces is learning from your peers, is learning different modes and models and how you can apply a different model that exists maybe at a different university to your institution and, and, and how you can adapt it to make sure that it fits to the type of institution that you belong to. So to me, um, student unions come to mind. Um, so national student unions, local student unions, um, like um, activist groups in, 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 from like climate work all the way to like uh, feminist groups, like all kinds of like any form of, of student activism that, that, that spend a lot of their time and their energy um, trying to make their campuses a better place, trying to make their um, universities, their cities, their you know, local communities a better place. To me, that's what comes to mind when I think of, of student participation. Uh, I think often students who are frustrated get involved in the student movement, um, students that have that see an issue that isn't being addressed or, or um, get annoyed about something that's happened and feel like it needs to be raised or voiced. And, and often actually, like I always say, the entry point into student activism is through anger. Um, and then as you, as you kind of come in those spaces, you learn how to utilize that anger into, into actually meaningful action and use that meaningful action into making actual impactful change on campuses or even wider than that. Um, so yeah, the entry point is always like actually being frustrated about something that doesn't work or something that is, um, could be discriminatory, something that is problematic on, on a campus, but make, taking the initiative to change it, that's the most important part. Uh, I think I would, I would tell everybody, um, anyone that goes to university, anyone that goes to any, any form of space, knowing, knowing that you, you, there's power in your own voice um, and when you see an issue um, or you see a concern or something that frustrates you, you have a responsibility, a sense of duty to call it out, to correct it um, and never see yourself as like less powerful or less important than any other voice. Um, you're just as important, just as impactful and you raising those issues and concerns um, could change the life for another person that comes in to university after you, you may never know. So um, it's really important to get involved and do what you can. And there is an, ex an expectation for everybody to do the same thing. There is an expectation for everybody to, to be the same or raise the same issues. But, but if something frustrates you specifically, speak on it and talk about it because you'll be surprised at how many people would follow and agree with you um, when you speak up.